Fetal Development, the first trimester. Week 4, Implantation. By the time it reaches the uterus, the rapidly dividing ball of cells, now known as a blastocyst, has separated into two sections. The inner group of cells will become the embryo, the outer group will become the cells that nourish and protect it. On contact, the blastocyst will burrow into the uterine wall for nourishment. This process is called implantation. The placenta, which will nourish your baby throughout the pregnancy, also begins to form. Week 5. The embryonic period begins. The fifth week of pregnancy, or the third week after conception, marks the beginning of the embryonic period. This is when the baby's brain, spinal cord, heart, and other organs begin to form. The embryo is now made of three layers. The top layer, the ectoderm, will give rise to your baby's outermost layer of skin, central and peripheral nervous systems, eyes, inner ears, and many connective tissues. The baby's heart and a primitive circulatory system will form in the middle layer of cells, the mesoderm. This layer of cells will also serve as the foundation of your baby's bones, muscles, kidneys, and much of the reproductive system. The inner layer of cells, the endoderm, will become a simple tube lined with mucous membranes. Your baby's lungs, intestines, and bladder will develop here. Week 6. The neural tube closes. Growth is rapid this week. Just four weeks after conception, the neural tube along your baby's back is closing and your baby's heart is pumping blood. Basic facial features will begin to appear, including passageways that will make up the inner ears and arches that will contribute to the jaw. Your baby's body begins to take on a C-shaped curvature. Small buds will soon become arms and legs. Week 7, baby's head develops. Seven weeks into your pregnancy, or five weeks after conception, your baby's brain and face are rapidly developing. Tiny nostrils become visible, and the eye lenses begin to form. The arm buds that sprouted last week now take on the shape of paddles. By the end of this week, your baby might be a little bigger than the top of a pencil eraser. Week 8. Baby's eyes are visible. Eight weeks into your pregnancy or six weeks after conception, your baby's arms and legs are growing longer and fingers have begun to form. The shell-shaped parts of your baby's ears also are forming and your baby's eyes are visible. The upper lip and nose have formed. The trunk of your baby's body is beginning to straighten. By the end of this week, your baby might be about one half inch, that is 11 to 14 millimeters, long. Week 9. Baby's toes form. In the ninth week of pregnancy, or seven weeks after conception, your baby's arms grow, develop bones, and bend at the elbows. Toes form, and your baby's eyelids and ears continue developing. Week 10. Baby's neck begins to develop. By the 10th week of pregnancy, or 8 weeks after conception, your baby's head has become more round. The neck begins to develop and your baby's eyelids begin to close to protect his or her developing eyes. Week 11. Baby's genitals develop. At the beginning of the 11th week of pregnancy, or the 9th week after conception, your baby's head still makes up about half of its length. However, your baby's body is about to catch up, growing rapidly in the coming weeks. Your baby is now officially described as a fetus. This week, your baby's eyes are widely separated and the eyelids fused and ears low set. Red blood cells are beginning to form in your baby's liver. By the end of this week, your baby's external genitalia will start developing into a penis or clitoris with labial majora. Week 12. Baby's fingernails develop. Twelve weeks into your pregnancy or ten weeks after conception, 
Your baby is developing fingernails. Your baby's face now has a human profile. By now, your baby might be about two and a half inches or 60 millimeters long from crown to rump and weigh about half an ounce or 14 grams. Fetal Development, the second trimester. Week 13, Urine Forms. 13 weeks into your pregnancy, or 11 weeks after conception, your baby's intestines have returned to his or her abdomen from the umbilical cord, where they've been growing for the past couple of weeks. Your baby is also beginning to form urine and discharge it into the amniotic fluid. Tissue that will become bone is also developing around your baby's head and within his or her arms and legs. Week 14, baby's sex becomes apparent. 14 weeks into your pregnancy or 12 weeks after conception, your baby's arms have almost reached the final relative lengths they will be at birth, and your baby's neck has become more defined. Red blood cells are forming in your baby's spleen. Your baby's sex will become apparent this week or in the coming weeks. For girls, ovarian follicles begin forming. For boys, the prostate appears. Week 15, baby skeleton develops bones. 15 weeks into your pregnancy or 13 weeks after conception, your baby is growing rapidly. Your baby skeleton is developing bones, which will become visible on ultrasound images in a few weeks. Your baby's scalp hair pattern also is forming. Week 16, baby can make sucking motions. 16 weeks into your pregnancy or 14 weeks after conception, your baby's eyes have begun to face forward and slowly move. The ears are close to reaching their final position. Your baby might be able to make sucking motions with his or her mouth. Week 17. Fat accumulates. 17 weeks into your pregnancy or 15 weeks after conception, toenails have begun to develop. Soon, fat stores begin to develop under your baby's skin. The fat will provide energy and help keep your baby warm after birth. Week 18, baby begins to hear. 18 weeks into your pregnancy or 16 weeks after conception, your baby's ears begin to stand out on the sides of his or her head. The baby might begin to hear. By now, your baby might be five and a half inches or 140 millimeters long from crown to rump and weigh seven ounces or 200 grams. Week 19, baby's uterus forms. 19 weeks into your pregnancy or 17 weeks after conception, a greasy cheese-like coating called vernix caseosa begins to cover your baby. The vernix caseosa helps protect your baby's delicate skin from abrasions, chapping, and hardening that can result from exposure to amniotic fluid. For girls, the uterus and vagina might begin to form this week. Week 20, the halfway point. Halfway into your pregnancy or 18 weeks after conception, you might be able to feel your baby's movements, also known as quickening. If you've been pregnant before, you might have begun feeling your baby's movements a few weeks ago. By now, your baby might be about six and a third inches or 160 millimeters long from crown to rump. Twenty-one, baby can swallow. Twenty-one weeks into your pregnancy or 19 weeks after conception, your baby is poised to gain more weight. By this week, your baby is becoming more active and is able to swallow. Week 22, baby's hair becomes visible. 22 weeks into your pregnancy or 20 weeks after conception, your baby is completely covered with a fine down-like hair called lanugo. The lanugo helps hold the vernix caseosa on the skin. Your baby's eyebrows might be visible. Week 23, fingerprints and footprints form. 23 weeks into your pregnancy, 
or 21 weeks after conception, your baby's skin is wrinkled, more translucent than before, and pink to red in color. This week your baby might have rapid eye movements. Your baby's tongue will soon develop taste buds. Fingerprints and footprints are forming. For boys, the testes are descending from the abdomen. For girls, the uterus and ovaries are in place, complete with a lifetime supply of eggs. Week 24, Real Hair Grows 24 weeks into your pregnancy or 22 weeks after conception, your baby is regularly sleeping and waking. Real hair is growing on his or her head. By now, your baby might be about 8 inches or 210 millimeters long from crown to rump and weigh more than 1 and one third pounds or 630 grams. Week 25, baby responds to your voice. 25 weeks into your pregnancy or 23 weeks after conception, your baby's hands and startle reflex are developing. Your baby might be able to respond to familiar sounds such as your voice with movement. Week 26, baby's fingernails develop. 26 weeks into your pregnancy or 24 weeks after conception, your baby has fingernails. Your baby's lungs are beginning to produce surfactant, the substance that allows the air sacs in the lungs to inflate and keeps them from collapsing and sticking together when they deflate. Week 27, second trimester ends. This week marks the end of the second trimester. At 27 weeks or 25 weeks after conception, your baby's lungs and nervous system are continuing to mature, and he or she has likely been growing like a weed. Fetal Development, the Third Trimester Week 28, Baby's Eyes Open 28 weeks into your pregnancy or 26 weeks after conception, your baby's eyelids are partially open and eyelashes have formed. Your baby is gaining weight, which is smoothing out many of the wrinkles in his or her skin. Week 29, baby's bones are fully developed. 29 weeks into your pregnancy or 27 weeks after conception, your baby's bones are fully developed, but they're still soft and pliable. Week 30, baby's eyes are wide open. 30 weeks into your pregnancy or 28 weeks after conception, your baby's eyes are wide open a good part of the time. Your baby might have a good head of hair by this week. Red blood cells are now forming in your baby's bone marrow. Week 31. Nervous system development continues. 31 weeks into your pregnancy or 29 weeks after conception, your baby's central nervous system has matured to the stage where it can control body temperature. Week 32. Baby practices breathing. 32 weeks into your pregnancy or 30 weeks after conception, your baby's toenails are visible. Although the baby's lungs aren't fully formed, he or she practices breathing. Your baby's body begins absorbing vital minerals, such as iron and calcium from the intestinal tract, and the layer of soft downy hair that has covered your baby's skin for the past few months, known as lanugo, starts to fall off this week. Week 33. Baby detects light. 33 weeks into your pregnancy or 31 weeks after conception, your baby's pupils can constrict, dilate, and detect light entering his or her eyes. Week 34. Baby's fingernails grow. 34 weeks into your pregnancy or 32 weeks after conception, your baby's fingernails have reached his or her fingertips. By now, your baby might be nearly 12 inches or 300 millimeters long from crown to rump. Week 35, rapid weight gain begins. 35 weeks into your pregnancy or 33 weeks after conception, 
Your baby's limbs are becoming chubby. Your baby is gaining weight rapidly, about a half pound or 230 grams a week for the next month. Week 36, baby takes up most of the amniotic sac. 36 weeks into your pregnancy or 34 weeks after conception, the crowded conditions inside your uterus might make it harder for your baby to give you a punch. However, you'll probably still feel lots of stretches, rolls, and wiggles. You might want to check on your baby's movements from time to time, a kick count, especially if you've noticed decreased activity. Ask your healthcare provider how many movements you should detect in a certain number of hours. Week 37, baby is early term. 37 weeks into your pregnancy or 35 weeks after conception, your baby will be considered early term. Your baby's organs are ready to function on their own. To prepare for birth, your baby's head might start descending into your pelvis. If your baby isn't head down, your healthcare provider will talk to you about ways to deal with this issue. Week 38, baby develops a firm grasp. 38 weeks into your pregnancy or 36 weeks after conception, your baby is developing a firm grasp. Your baby's toenails have reached the tips of his or her toes. His or her brain might weigh about 14 ounces or 400 grams. After birth, your baby's brain will continue to grow. The baby has mostly shed all of his or her lanugo. By now, your baby might weigh about six and a half pounds or 2,900 grams. Week 39, placenta provides antibodies. 39 weeks into your pregnancy or 37 weeks after conception, your baby's chest is becoming more prominent. For boys, the testes continue to descend into the scrotum. The placenta continues to supply your baby with antibodies that will help fight infection after birth. If you breastfeed your baby, your milk will provide additional antibodies. Week 40, your due date arrives. 40 weeks into your pregnancy or 38 weeks after conception, your baby might be about 18 to 20 inches or 450 to 500 millimeters long and weigh six and a half pounds or 2,900 grams or more. Remember, however, that healthy babies come in different sizes. Don't be alarmed if your due date comes and goes without incident. It's just as normal to deliver a baby a week or two late or early as it is to deliver on your due date. Good luck with your new baby and click on the subscribe button for more videos and tips.